Monkey D. Luffy leads the Straw Hat Pirates, who embarked on their pirate journey when he was 17 years old. Luffy's initial goal was to gather 10 crew members, which he has achieved and even exceeded. They have journeyed through various seas. Despite this, there are several powerful characters who could have potentially joined the crew but did not. Here's a list of the top 10 strongest almost straw hats in the One Piece series. The Straw Hat Pirates encountered Gaimon, a former pirate who was stranded in a treasure chest on a small island. Although Luffy invited Gaimon to join the crew, he declined the offer and opted to stay on the island with the animal friends he had made, choosing not to become a straw hat pirate. After the Going Mary ship was destroyed in the Water 7 arc, the Straw Hat crew realized they needed a shipwright. They searched for one while in Water 7 and invited Iceberg to join, but he declined due to his responsibilities as the mayor. Eventually, it was Frankie who joined the crew instead. Vivi is the princess of Alabasta who infiltrated Baroque works to uncover their leader's identity. She sought assistance from the Straw Hat pirates and sailed with them to Alabasta. Despite being given the option to join the crew, Vivi decided to fulfill her duties as a princess and stayed in Alabasta. She remains an honorary Straw Hat member. Montblanc Cricket is a descendant of Montblanc Nolan, who was famous for his seemingly unbelievable stories, including the discovery of the City of Gold on Jaya. Cricket shared Nolan's adventurous spirit and had the potential to be an ideal Straw Hat member. However, they never met again after the events on Jaya, making him a missed opportunity to join the crew. Dr. Kura is the most dependable doctor whom the residents rely on to address various issues. When the Straw Hat crew arrived in this region, Luffy and Nami realized that they still didn't have a doctor on their crew. This is what led them to ask Dr. Kura to join the Straw Hat crew. However, she firmly declined the offer. Why? Because she didn't want to spend her remaining days as a pirate and eventually meet her end on a ship. Luffy's first encounter on his journey was with Kobe a cabin boy on Alveda's ship. They became close friends and defeated Alveda together. However, Kobe revealed his dream of becoming a Marine, so Luffy helped him pursue that path, leading to Kobe not joining the Straw Hat crew. If not for this, Kobe might have been a member of the crew. Bon Clay, originally a member of Baroque Works, fought Sanji in the Alabasta Arc. He later risked his life to aid the Straw Hat pirates and was imprisoned and impaled down. When Luffy came to impel down, Mon Clay selflessly assisted Luffy, sacrificing his own chance to escape and opening a path for his friend to flee, demonstrating his unwavering loyalty and friendship. Carrot, a rabbit mink, sneaks away on the Straw Hat ship and travels with the crew to Whole Cake Island and Wano. Due to being appointed ruler by Inuarashi, she was unable to continue traveling with the Straw Hats. Pedro, a jaguar mink and captain of Neko Mamushi's Well Forest Guardians, accompanied the Straw Hat crew to Whole Cake Island. His goal was to witness the dawn of the world, a mission passed down by Galdi Roger. Pedro, however, sacrificed his life to ensure the Straw Hats escape from Whole Cake Island, potentially missing out on witnessing the journey through to the dawn had he survived. Yamato shares Odin's desire for adventures in the outside world and insisted on joining the Straw Hats. After the Onagashima battle, she offered to join another crew. But in a surprising twist in Chapter 1057, she turned down Luffy's offer to protect Wano from external threats while pretending not to hurt Momonosuke's feelings. 